Okay guys, so I'll show you how I made a magic mirror for the Evil Queen. To start out with the main piece, I cut out a tab from the top of the box. Make sure it was taller than my doll. I cut three spikes at the top to give it a little bit of evil look. Okay, this will be our main piece. And now for the steps leading up to the mirror, I cut out a rectangle. One shorter than that, and one shorter than that. To get three pieces, all in an increasing formation, or decreasing, whichever one you want. Next, I'm going to make two of every cutout of these steps, and stack them together in order. And this will give us a little bit more rise to our steps. Next, I'm just going to glue them all together. Next, I'm going to fill in the gaps of the cardboard with hot glue. Next, taking this flameless candle that I got from the dollar store around Christmas time. You can turn it to turn it on and off. I thought this would be cool. I'm going to paint mine black to give it a bit more dramatic look. And now for our steps, I painted mine black and went over the edges with some metallic. Alright, this is looking good. I think this is finished. And now on for the main piece. At the spikes, I painted it all black and I made it slowly fade into this dry brush metallic look. I thought that looked cool. And now with a hot glue gun, I tried doing some details with it, but it did not go. I might just rip them off later. Yeah, even I make mistakes sometimes. Next, I'm just going to glue our two pieces together. Okay, for the candles, to make it look like the candles have been melting over time, I'm just going to use my hot glue gun, then slowly go from the bottom up to the candle. Make sure not to go all the way up so that you can still turn the candles to turn them on. Now that the glue is dry, I am going to paint it black. Next, I placed on my mirror, and mine is just a simple self-sticky mirror decal that I got from the dollar store and I'm going to paint some metallic around it. Next for the candles, since they're plastic, I'm going to seal it with a matte finish Mod Podge. Next for a little bit more detail, I got these little square rectangles of cardboard and I cut them into these little small diamond shapes. Some half diamonds, some I'm going to cut a full diamond like this one. To give it a little bit more variation to them. Next, I'm going to stack and glue them behind one another to show, you know, a little bit more depth but in between. Next, on the edges, I'm going to fill it with some hot glue. Next, I'm just going to paint them a metallic gray. Next, I'm going to dry the tips with some black. And now you just glue them in place wherever you want. And now just twist on the candles to give it a little bit of glow. To add a little bit more glow, I add these little flameless tea candles down here at the bottom I got from the dollar store. And we're done. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for any more crafting videos to see. Thank you guys for watching.